A lot of you might wonder why we're interviewing Hank Chen, the reigning king of Kong, in a doctor's office as opposed to an arcade. It's because he's a plastic surgeon and we're going to get some free work done. Boom. The man, the legend. So, uh, Hank Chen, not only are you the reigning king of Kong, that's Donkey Kong for those of you that aren't in the know, <laughs> but you're also a plastic surgeon. That's correct. Which is cooler, being the king of Kong or getting to touch boobs a lot? I don't know, that's the question. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like anything else. If you if you see it every day, you don't. You don't it's like eating about it. pizza if you work at a pizza place. If you're a yeah. pizza, I, I exactly. live at pizzas in I college. I went to pizza at Uno. There you go. Can't ever go there again. <laughs> Horrible. And pizza's great. You know, boobs are great. But I think if you if it's your job, then you you probably get used to it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Damn it. I'm never going to be seen a something plastic really surgeon. Gro like, what's the grossest thing somebody's come in here and been like, can you remove well, this? And what's their name and where do they live? <laughs> <laughs> well, here or just in my whole... In your life. In my life. Well, residency. Those are where the stories residency come from. Residency is where, where the stories come from. Um, are you being robbed right now? Oh, wait. One second. Grace? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm being interviewed. <laughs> hey, Grace. Hi. How are you? Hi. Grace this Helbig. This is my receptionist. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> hey, Grace, how are you? Grace, <laughs> how are you doing? Oh, this is a pet. prairie dog with wings. Could you make one of these? <laughs> you mean draw or? Uh, no, I mean like take a prairie dog and add wings to it. Oh, surgically. I don't think so. <laughs> what were you? Wait, what were we talking about before? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we were talking, we about, were pizza. talking about pizza. No, we, we were, were talking about pizza. Great song, by the way, though. Pizza coming to my mouth. What the hell is that? Anyway. <laughs> what the hell is coming to my mouth? Grace, you need to. You don't want to hear this. Pizza coming to my mouth. Okay, we were talking about gross things you've seen in your oh, residence. Oh, yes, yes, that's right. Residence. That's right. <laughs> the grossest thing that I've ever seen was probably something called sternal perforation, which is when basically you get constipated so bad that your stool becomes rock hard, and it literally erodes through your colon, and your colon bursts. It's messy. So just to recap for people who don't know, the first record you set mm -hmm. was in... February of 2010. Billy Mitchell. Billy to Mitchell took it back, right? Back. In the summer of 2010. And then you took it back from him? No, Steve, Steve Weeby. Weeby. Weeby actually took it from Billy Mitchell a few months later. And then you... And then I took it from Steve in December of 2010. And then beat your own record. And then record. I beat my own record. I think currently there's actually, I don't know, I don't want to give a number, but there's a lot of players that can beat my score, that have the skills, mm -hmm. uh, but either haven't had the time or the luck to put a game together to beat it. Anyone who's seen King of Kong wants to know about Billy Mitchell. Is he really like that in real life? I, I, I think what I like to say is Billy Mitchell's misunderstood. He, he has this quirky personality that you kind of get or you don't get. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, he's a little bit egotistical, but he's, he's just <laughs> trying to be funny, really. It's also easy to edit him to make him look bad. So. You know what you can't fake, though? The ties and the hair. <laughs> you can't fake that. You can't fake that. You can't teach it's it. Real life. You can't fake it. It's legit. Oh no, that's real. That's real <laughs> life. Have you ever done any uh, penal extensions or reductions? No, I did your reduction. Your muscle is strong on this side, so it's pulling up. Did you have a stroke? How deviated is my symptom? So I learned I think all you need is a little Botox. I think your forehead and your gross feet. I think you're good to go. Are you drawing where you put the Botox? Exactly, yeah. It's not a lot, right? It's just basically <laughs> from here up, everything. Don't let